My name is Stephen George and this is my face sharing video project for Issues in Evangelism. I want to tell you about my faith in God and in Jesus Christ. Uh, I grew up a Christian. I can't ever remember a time when I didn't believe in my heart, uh, believe in God, and believe in His Son Jesus Christ. My dad is a Methodist pastor, and so I grew up in the church, uh, the youth group and summer camp and the whole nine yards. Um, but in my later high school years and my first couple years of college, I fell away from the faith. I, uh, I never stopped believing in God, but I was not living like a Christian. And I don't know that I had ever truly internalized the head knowledge that I had of God and, and what I had been taught in church and really internalized that and made that my own personal faith until somewhere between my sophomore and junior year in college. I started hanging out with some guys that were Christians and as I was with them, they started challenging me and my faith. Hey Steve, what do you believe about this? Hey Steve, what do you believe about that? And I'd say, well, you know, I remember hearing this or I remember being taught and they'd say, yeah, but what, what do you believe? And as I spent time with these guys, uh, and I started going to church with them, um, as I was hanging out with these other believers, I started seeing God working in their lives. And through their testimony and through their reaching out to me, I started sensing and feeling God's presence around me. And instead of just being this, uh, this head knowledge of agreeing that, yes, I understand this, uh, I actually started feeling and experiencing God's presence. And I remember this one time being with this guy and he was saying, Steve, it's all about Jesus. And because of Jesus Christ, you know, your sins can be forgiven. And, and he was going on and on. And every time he would say the word Jesus, like I'd get these little uh, goosebumps, these little prickles in my skin. And um, I finally one day, uh, the guy said to me, Steve, you say you're a Christian, but you live like this, and you do this, and you do this, and none of your life shows that you're a Christian. You're not living it. And I started praying, and God spoke to me in a prayer uh, that I had. And he said, Steve, that guy Sean was right. You're not living your life for me. You may know about me, but you don't know me. And it was then that I prayed and asked God. I said, God, teach me. Show me who you are. Uh, help me turn my life over to you. And I started to understand that, uh, you know, Jesus came and called us to repent. And so I asked God to forgive me for my sins and to help me change and to help me uh, stop uh, doing things that I knew he was calling me not to do. And I started believing, and it was my faith in Jesus that caused me to start changing my behavior. Anybody can say they have head knowledge of and believe something, but until you see them living out their faith, uh, or until you see the way they live their life, uh, you will know by watching them what they believe. And so by being in community with these other Christians and being around them, uh, and God using them to influence me and to uh, speak to me, and through starting to pray on my own, and I started reading the Bible, I started in the New Testament. Um, I started to actually get to know God more and know what he wanted of me and started to get to know Jesus Christ. I remember the day, uh, even though I had think I had done this years before, uh, I remember the day when I finally came to God on my knees and I just, it was me by myself and I was uh, in my bedroom and I knelt by my bed and I think I was 23 years old, 22, maybe 22. And I just uh, prayed. I said, God, forgive me for my sins. I believe in your son, Jesus Christ. And I believe that uh, he died on the cross to forgive me, uh, to pay the penalty for my sins. And I just asked. And I remember feeling this, this wave. The Holy Spirit is what I believe just filled me and came over me. And I just remember feeling this, this wave go through me. And uh, I knew that God had forgiven me and for all uh, my uh, waywardness uh, through my college years and high school years and that God had forgiven me for my sins and that uh, Jesus Christ 
uh, had forgiven me. I would say that the, the biggest difference now in my life between then, I, I still have the same head knowledge I did then uh, uh, through reading the Bible, but excuse me, the biggest difference that I have in my life now is um, living the way I feel God calling me to live and being able to turn that over. I, I have my will, here's what I would like to do, uh, but I can see through God's Holy Spirit in me, I can see my own selfishness and my own self-centeredness and what I want for me. And, and I know through reading the Bible and sensing God's presence uh, in me and around me, how he would have me live. And so the biggest change in me since I've become a Christian or since that day uh, when I prayed and asked forgiveness is the change in my lifestyle and living now in a way that is trying to uh, love others uh, and love God. Jesus said, you know, the greatest commandments are to love God first and to love others. And I'm trying to live my life now doing that.